Hi, in this video I'll show you how to calculate a median in the pivot table. So before I do that, let's just kind of pull out what the median is in this small set of data. You can use the median function, double click that, select my data here, press enter. Let's also do the mean so we can check our work later. I'll just do average uh, equals average, click that, select my data here. Press enter. All right, so we've got our mean, median, and mean. And if I want to create a pivot table, go to insert pivot table. Let's put it on the existing worksheet. Put it here in F1. Click OK. And let's bring down our name. Actually, no. Let's let's do this. Put gender, and then wait. Gender is going to be good because we want to see what the median is between those two. As you can see here, when the pivot table sees numbers in the values field, it automatically sums it. But we can see here, we go right click, summarize values by, we have our count, average, and if we do average, you can see that we have our average here, right? So that kind of works out well. But you would think that with the pivot table, maybe more options will give us other um, statistical value aggregations, like it does, like standard deviations and variance, but where is the median? You can't get that. We have our average, but no median. Well, there's a way you can do that um, without relying on just creating the median function, right? So let's see how we can do that. Let me delete this. And we're going to create a pivot table like we did before. Let's put it in uh, F1 again. But the one key thing is we need to add this to the data model. Click OK. And it's going to add it to the data model. And what we need to do, you can see that we have a different icon here. Because this, basically when you add it to the data model, you can have different tables. You can add relationships. But now we have the ability to create a measure. So if I right click here, it has this measure um, function or this measure capability. So if I add measure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some DAX function. And this is the language that the Power Pivot uh, engine uses. And what we can do, we'll just call this median. Median, wait. And in the function here, we're going to use the same function called median. And it's also a DAX function. But it's a little bit different where now we're looking at the value here and using this to create our median. And we'll call this a number. Let's make this out two decimal places. Click OK. And now we have a measure function that we can put. So if I put uh, gender and I put median weight here, it's going to give me the median for male and female. All right. So we have median 181 here. You can see that we have our 181 total there. And of course, the beauty of that is that you don't have to go into your table and separately do it, right? You can do it all in pivot table. If you had other fields that you had in there, you can mix and match, slice and dice your different fields, right? I can, I can also put weight in there and have it show at the same time, right? Click, summer value by average, right? We have our average down here, which is matches that, but we also have our median for that value. And these are the medians per gender. So that's the way that you can create a median in a pivot table. You just have to put it into the data model and create a measure for that. Very simple. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.